Padma, what is it like working in a uh, you know Bollywood film? Is it something that you had always wanted to do, working in a Bollywood film? Um, I don't think it was particularly something I wanted to do, but I did want to work in my own country, and um, I don't think this is a typical Bollywood film. Um, I hope it's not. I mean, not that I wouldn't want to do that one, that type of film either, but I, I think. It's something that tries to not cater to a certain audience, but just does what it wants to. And hopefully, that'll be something that enough people will want to come see. I mean, if we're talking about a film like Crouching Tiger, I think that was made, for example, mainly for Western audiences. I mean, Eastern audiences, Asian audiences. But, you know, it had a global appeal. And hopefully, if you do something that's interesting enough, then enough people will come see it. Uh, what was your take on Kaizad Bustad? What did you think of him and his script when he approached you? Well, to be honest, I haven't seen Bombay Boys, so I'm coming into this completely, uh, you know, without any preconceptions. Um, I didn't, I don't, I didn't know Kaizad. Uh, I didn't know who he was, frankly. And I read his script, and I liked his script. And um, as I said earlier, that's really what's most important to me when I work on a project is is how strong the writing is and I felt that it was very interesting and I felt it was a very witty script and um, that's a large reason of why I'm here. Uh, did you tell Mr. Rashti about this and what did he think about you know the whole idea of you acting in a movie? Or in the, uh, well I'm an actress so I act in many movies so that's no secret to anybody and um, I think that my partner supports me in everything that I do. Does he know that you're doing this uh, particular film in India, and what does he think of? Of course he knows. <laughs> of course he knows. What, what um, he he's fine with it. As I said, he trusts my judgment, and um, as I trust his. And you know, when a couple is together, you try to support each other in um, all of each other's artistic endeavors, and I think that's true here. So will you be open to accepting more offers of this kind, or you know, working in India? I'm, I'm open to any offer that's interesting. I would love to work more in India. I think there's a lot of untapped resource here, creative resources here that need to be explored further. I think there's a great market for it. But, but you know, setting aside the market, I think there's great artistic experimentation that needs and can and should take place in this country. And I'm happy and, and blessed to be a part of that in this case.